Hey guys, today I'm gonna be showing you how to draw the human figure. And what I did is I started off with a handout right here of this person and just kind of splitting it up to four sections. I think that's gonna be the easiest way to remember. So what I did beforehand is I got my ruler and went through and measured this guy, right? Um, if we look at him, he's eight, eight inches long, halfway between the top of the head and the bottom of the feet. If you measure it, it's gonna be right here. Okay, so that's where our hips are gonna be. Halfway between the hips and the top of the head, you'll notice that's more or less where the nipple area is. It'd be a little bit lower, but close enough, okay? And then um, halfway between the hips and the bottom of the feet, that's gonna be where your knees are. So that's just a really quick and easy way to remember um, what a, a human figure is going to look like if we split it up into four sections. So what I want to do with you guys is just kind of show you how, um, just really quickly whenever I'm looking at a figure, if there's any adjusted adjustments that need to be made. Um, and then here in a little bit, we're going to draw a figure ourselves. But uh, whenever I look at it, I just try to break it up into some sections. Like there's usually this um, chest area, it's kind of like the rib cage. Okay, and then there's this uh, box of the hips that sits um, a little bit higher than this middle part. Okay, and then once you have that done, what we're going to do is I usually like to have uh, circles over here for the arms. This person doesn't have their, their arms down, but you can have the top part of the arm and then... If you, if you get your hands and you extend them to the side of your, to, right next to your legs, you're gonna find that the ends of your fingertips, they're gonna be hitting the, about the middle of your thighs, okay? So if this is a person over here, this is the top part, this is his forearm, all right? And then his hand would be doing something like this, okay? There's the bottom of his hand. Um, with the legs, so we look at this guy, it looks like his knees are a little bit above the line. And then we're gonna have the bottom part. And then it's kind of a foot that's coming out this way. So this is kind of a marionette figure that I usually draw, okay? And the reason it's called a marionette, marionette is just another name for a puppet, right? So as I go through and redo this with you guys, what we're gonna do is try and follow these measurements over here, but on our paper. So first thing is to go ahead and let's plan out some lines. This is gonna be the top of the head, right? This is gonna be where the, I'm trying to get all this in the camera, um, bottom of the feet, right? So what I wanna do is find the halfway point. Going back to my paper, you know that the halfway point is going to be where the hips are. Okay, half of that. And I have another line. That's going to be what? Where the nipples go. Okay. Then halfway between here and here is going to be where my knees are going to be at. So whenever I go to draw my marionette figure, um, just looking at this one as, as a comparison, you want to have the box of the chest be over here in this area. And usually whenever I'm drawing somebody, I try to make the, you know, this tapered in a little bit, right? And then the next thing is I want to have the box of the hips over here. Uh, you'll notice a little bit is below the line. The majority of it is up on top. So I'm going to come over here make box of the hips. And then the next thing, um, what I can do is go ahead and figure out the body. These are gonna be, be my knees, right? So I'm gonna have half of my leg be over here on this top part, okay? And then the rest of it's gonna be coming down over here. And I can have some feet. Let's go ahead and do the top part. Over here, what we want to do is go ahead and have our head. Should probably lift a little bit more space 
for a neck. This could be a little bit lower, but anyways. Um, we're gonna have the ball of our shoulders, right? And you'll notice whenever I'm doing the arms, that right here where the elbow area is, that should fit underneath your rib cage. And while you're drawing this, if you want to press the inside of your elbow up against your, your rib cage, you're going to feel that this area right here where your elbow is fits below your rib cage but on top of your hips. Okay. And then once again, like I said, you know that the end of your fingertips need to be hitting about the middle of your thigh. So if I have a hand over here, and this is going to be the top part of my arm. Right? So here we have this marionette figure drawing. Let me go ahead and draw the, re the other part of the body. Come over here and get this other arm. Same thing, we know that the end of his fingertips are gonna be this way. This one, I'm gonna draw his hand just like a mitten. Right, we're not gonna be adding fingers in there or anything but we're gonna have this top part of the top part of the arm, his biceps, his forearm, okay? So we have somebody that's looking forward. What if we want somebody that's looking sideways? So same thing, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna extend my lines over. This person is gonna be looking this way, so the same thing, what I'm gonna do, I always start with these two parts first, right? Uh, when somebody's standing straight up, you know, they're gonna have their chest out. Their hips are gonna be, you know, when I'm thinking of like in GROTC when people are standing at attention, they're standing up straight. Um, you're gonna have the box of your chest and the box of the hips doing this. And then what we're, I'm gonna do, is go ahead and let's go ahead and do the legs because that's pretty easy, right? I'm gonna put in the top part of my leg. Here's my knee. And then the bottom half of my leg. And then we'll just make like a little wedge shape for the, the feet. Something people tend to do a lot is they'll make their feet a little bit too small. Remember to give it enough enough space over here because it's holding up this whole structure, right? Let's go ahead and put a circle over here for the our um, shoulders. Again, we're gonna have the top of our arm coming, stopping over here where our rib cage is. The ends of our hands are gonna be here in this area. So let me just have this guy's hand over here like this, forearm and then this person's head. Okay. It's just a marionette figure. This is how we're gonna be drawing this person, okay? Um, so what I would like for you guys to do is to go ahead and practice drawing somebody from the front, somebody from the side, and then once you've done this, go ahead and do one more over here on this side. You can pick whether you want it to be some, well, Let's go ahead and do this, just to make it easy for everybody. Let's go ahead and have everybody draw one of these, except over here. Once you're done doing this, what, you're gonna, what I would like for you to, is to go ahead and put, once you redo this, and it looks a little bit better, what I want you to do is come in here, go ahead and start adding some skin to this person. You can add, you know, a neck. Uh, whether you want it to be a boy or a girl. If it's a boy, you're probably gonna have like some muscles like this, if it's a girl. You're gonna have, you know, it's gonna be looking a little bit different. Uh, you don't, not necessarily, you don't have to be drawing all the genitals in here, but uh, you could just more or less draw, you know, the shape of what the body person is gonna look like. Is Are they wearing shorts? You know, or are they gonna be wearing some pants? It's totally up to you to decide what this person is going to be wearing over here. And then you can decide what kind of clothes he's wearing, right? Are they wearing shorts and a t-shirt? Are they going to be wearing a hoodie? I don't know. You, you totally decide on what you want this person to be doing or wearing. All right. Um, again, 
Whenever we're drawing the face, you know that the eyes are going to be here in this area. So you can go ahead and just really quickly draw, you know, a face on there. But I'll let you guys go through and, and do this, all right? So for today's assignment, what you're going to be doing is drawing a person from the front view, side view. Try it one more time over here on this side but you're gonna be adding clothes over to it. And as I look at these, what I wanna do is pay attention to if the box of the hips are here in the middle, halfway between here and here are the knees, and halfway between here and the top of the head, that's where uh, you know the chest area is, and more or less where the nipples would go, okay? So good luck with it.